Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn about IELTS Speaking Test Part 1. Our topic is going to be boredom. Boredom. In this lesson, we are going to look at some questions and some sample answers. I'm also going to give you some tips to help you score a high band for your IELTS speaking test. Now, let's begin with question one. Do you get bored easily or often? Do you get bored easily or often? In that question, the examiner wants to know whether you're the sort of person who gets really bored very quickly and a lot. Are you the sort of person who gets bored really easily and quite often? Now you can answer that question by saying, no, not really. I'm not the sort of person who gets bored easily unless I'm in the company of dull individuals or my motivation is low. No, not really. I'm not the sort of person who gets bored easily unless I'm in the company of dull individuals or my motivation is low. Now, in that answer, I have let the examiner know that I am not the sort of person, I am not the type of person who gets bored easily. Unless I'm in the company of dull individuals. So I get bored not so easily unless I am with people who are boring or when my motivation is low. Now let's move on to question two. What sort of things do you find boring? What sort of things do you find boring? In that question, the examiner wants you to tell him or her the type of things that you find boring. What sort of things? Now, to answer that question, you can say, Well, I find certain sports really boring, for example, snooker or darts, because everything goes so slow. I do also find certain movies, especially romantic comedies, really boring. Well, I find certain sports really boring, for example, snooker or darts, because everything goes so slow. I do also find certain movies, especially romantic comedies, really boring. So in that answer, I identified the sort of things that I find boring. For example, I find certain sports. Certain sports mean some kind of sports. I find them really boring. And I gave an example of snooker and darts. And the, I also gave a reason as to why I find them boring because everything goes so slow. I do also find certain movies, so there are certain movies, especially romantic comedies, that I find really boring. Now let's move on to question three. How do you act when you're bored? How do you act when you're bored? In that question, the examiner wants you to describe your behavior. How do you behave when you're bored? What sort of things? How do you show that you're bored? Now, to answer that question, you can say, When I'm bored, I tend to yawn a lot, get restless, and at times, I do doze off or I begin listening to music. If I'm watching a boring film, I just switch to a more interesting one or a different program altogether. When I'm bored, I tend to yawn a lot, get restless, and at times, 
I do doze off or I begin listening to music. If I'm watching a boring film, I just switch to a more interesting one or a different program altogether. So in that answer, I have described how I act when I am bored. I say that I tend to yawn. I yawn a lot. I get restless. To get restless, to be restless is to be fidgety, okay? You get restless, you're not settled. And at times I doze off. I simply sleep off or I begin listening to music. If I'm bored, I doze off. Sometimes that means that I sleep, I begin to sleep. Or I begin listening to music. And if I'm watching a boring film, I just switch to a more interesting one or a different program altogether. Now, let's look at question five. Do you get more bored now that you did as a child? Do you get more bored now that now than you did as a child? Do you get more bored now than you did as a child? In that question, the examiner wants you to tell him or her whether nowadays you get more bored than you did as a small child. Now, to answer that question, uh, you can say, um, to be honest, I got a lot more bored as a child than I do now because I have a lot of things to entertain me, such as social media apps like YouTube and TikTok. To be honest, I got a lot more bored as a child than I do now because I have a lot of things to entertain me, such as social media apps like YouTube and TikTok. So in that answer, I made the examiner know that, um, you know, as to be honest, I got a lot more bored as a child. As a child, I got more bored than I do now. And I gave the reason and I introduced the reason using the linking one because, because nowadays I have a lot of things to entertain me. For example, social media apps like YouTube and TikTok. Now, let's go to question four. I noticed that I skipped question four. How do you avoid getting bored? How do you avoid getting bored? In that question, the examiner wants you to tell him or her what you do to make sure that you don't get bored. Now, to answer that question, you can say, well, to avoid getting bored, I avoid boring people or doing things which I find dull and monotonous. Well, to avoid getting bored, I avoid boring people or doing things which I find dull and monotonous. So in that answer, I told the examiner the things that I do to avoid getting bored, the things that I do to make sure that I don't get bored. And that is, I avoid boring people or doing things which I find dull. Dull means boring and not interesting at all. If something is dull, it means that it's not interesting and monotonous. If something is monoton monotonous, then it means that it's repetitive, okay? If something is monotonous, then it means that you have to do it many times and that makes it boring. Now, let's move on to question six. How do you feel when you're bored? How do you feel when you're bored? In that question, the examiner wants you to describe your feelings. How do you feel when you're bored? Now, to answer that question, you can say, when I'm bored, I often experience different emotions such as restlessness, agitation, and frustration. When I am bored, I often experience different emotions such as restlessness, agitation, and frustration. So in that answer, I describe my feelings, how I feel when I am bored. I experience different emotions. Emotions means feelings. 
And the first feeling that I experience is restlessness. Restlessness means that you're not settled. Okay, you are not settled at all. The next one is agitation. Agitation means you get angry. You start getting angry and irritable. You are irritated. You are agitated. And the last one is frustration. You feel frustrated. Now, this brings me to the second section of our lesson where I'm going to give you some tips that are going to help you to get a high band that I have integrated in my own answers. The first tip is make sure you understand the question. Listen really careful, carefully to the examiner to make sure that you understand the question. This is going to help to ensure that your answers are not off topic. And don't rush when you're giving your answers. Take your time, okay? Take your time. You don't get more marks for answering more questions. So just take your time to answer the question. Tip number two, for each of the questions that the examiner is going to ask you, do not simply say yes or no. For each of the questions, provide two to three ideas. Give at least two to three ideas. And the third tip, join your ideas together using linking words, like I have done in my answers. Use linking words to join your ideas together. Tip number four, use the correct vocabulary for the topic that you're talking about. In this sample answers, you have a lot of vocabulary to help you to talk about this topic. So use the correct vocabulary when you're giving your answers. Tip number five, if you're aiming for a band eight or a band nine, then use compound and complex sentences in your answers. A compound sentence has two verbs. A complex sentence has three or more verbs. That means that in a compound sentence, you have one linking word. In a complex sentence, you will have more than two linking words. Now, the next tip is practice by reading the questions and the sample answers, that is going to help to improve your fluency. Because fluency is a very important aspect of your IELTS speaking test. Now, being fluent does not mean that you don't speak English with an accent. No. You can speak English with an accent, but as long as someone understands you, then you are speaking fluently. And the final tip that I'm going to give you is make sure you use the correct grammar. That is actually the most important uh, tip of them all. If your grammar is not good, you're not going to score a high band even if you use a lot of uh, vocabulary. So how do you know which grammar to use? First of all, listen to the tense that the examiner has used in the question. That is going to give you a clue to know which tense you should use. The next thing is make sure that you have good subject verb agreement. Your plurals, your singulars, use prepositions correctly. In my sample answers, you have examples of how to do that. And now this brings me to the last section of this lesson where I'm going to read the questions and the sample answers so that you can practice how to pronounce them. Question one. Do you get bored easily or often? No, not really. I'm not the sort of person who gets bored easily unless I'm in the company of dull individuals or my motivation is low. Question two. What sort of things do you find boring? Well, I find certain sports really boring, for example, snooker or darts, because everything goes so slow. 
I do also find certain movies, especially romantic comedies, really boring. Question 3. How do you act when you're bored? When I'm bored, I tend to yawn a lot, get restless, and at times, I do doze off or I be begin listening to music. If I'm watching a boring film, I just switch to a more interesting one or a different program altogether. Question 5 Question 4 How do you avoid getting bored? Well, to avoid getting bored, I avoid boring people or doing things which I find dull and monotonous. Question 5. Do you get more bored now than, than you did as a child? To be honest, I got a lot more bored as a child than I do now because I have a lot of things to entertain me such as social media apps like YouTube and TikTok. Question 6. How do you feel when you're bored? When I'm bored, I often experience different emotions such as restlessness, agitation, and frustration. So there you go. That's how you're supposed to answer these questions if you get questions on the topic of boredom during your IELTS speaking test part one. Remember to practice the sample answers to improve your fluency. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please give the video a thumbs up, share the video with somebody else, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn your notification bell on. Also, do not forget to look at my pinned comment and the description box where I have put links to the other videos in my channel on, for example, Eyelet's listening test. IELTS writing, videos on vocabulary, videos on how to speak English in different situations, and also videos on literature if that's what you're looking for. Now, thank you very much, everyone, and I shall see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye.